Hey everybody, so I am in the kitchen again today. It's hot, I'm sweating, but I wanted to try to can some sweet potatoes and just water bath them and see how they turn out, see if we like them, see if that's the way I want to store them. Of course, if I like how they turn out, we will actually do the canning with the pressure canner. But for today, I'm just gonna water bath and then a couple of weeks, we will get those cans out and eat those sweet potatoes and see what we think. Thanks for joining me. My name is Kelly. I'm the K part of J and K Potter. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is peel these potatoes. There it is. I was looking all over for it. Okay, can you see how they kind of look a little white? So if you go one more down, see how you get that real pretty orange. That's what you want. You want that real pretty orange. So I'm going to do both potatoes like that and show you how I'm going to chop this with my big knife. Once you get past that white, and if you have any spots or blemishes, just take your knife and get rid of them. Do a little poke in, turn it makes a little well, gets all that out. Okay, so once you're satisfied with that, get out whatever knife you feel comfortable with. Take off the ends, because sweet potatoes are rather hard when they're raw. So what I'm going to do is make about one inch rounds. And then I'm going to go back and cut them down. Till they look about like that. Some pieces you might have to cut more than once, but these seem like they're going to work out just fine. And as always, I'm still trying to get used to what size jars I need because I'm not real good at judging the jars yet. So once I get that other one done, We'll be putting them in the jars. All right, let's go ahead and get our sweet potatoes. Okay, so that filled that up pretty good. That's awful hot. Okay, so we're going to do the one teaspoon of canning salt. <clears throat> 
Okay, so I've misplaced my liquid or my canning funnel. So I'm just going to be putting clear hot water, boiled water actually. into my jar got a half inch head space put on my lid my ring Very hot. Finger tight. And then we're going to be setting it into the water. Okay, and as long as that water is over the lid, we'll do fine. It shouldn't take but a second or two to bring it back up to boil and once it boils I'll boil it for 10 minutes looky there look what I just located my green funnel okay while my quart jar is bubbling away I'm gonna show you the best way that I have found to save and preserve sweet potatoes they last for months and they're good as when you first got them. Wrap them up in newspaper and put them in a brown paper bag and try to put them somewhere where it's cool. I kid you not, that will last you for months. So you might be wondering then, why am I trying to can them if I like the newspaper method so well? Well, the reason why is because I hope to get bunches and bunches and bunches of a sweet potato harvest in the at the end of October. We planted 18 sweet potato slips, and so I'm hoping for a great, great harvest. And I just don't think that I'll be able to preserve them with the newspaper for that many months unless I had a really cool place to put them. So I am going to try just a few of the potatoes in a brown paper sack with newspaper and set them in the darkest spot of our basement and see how long they last. But this is just a trial and error for me. I've watched all these different techniques on Facebook and on YouTube and I just want to try it for myself and see what works for us. So, thanks for joining me today. Go out and have some fun. Do something new. And just enjoy life. Till next time.